Now, CJ Ampere Wrestling presents Elimination Chamber. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Chris Gamer 1025, and tonight it is a special night. The start to the road to WrestleMania. It is here that we start at the Elimination Chamber. It is going to be a great pay per view here tonight, here live, Buffalo, New York. We're going to have a grand old time here. As here we take a look at the card, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off the night with Sami Zayn versus Cody. It is gonna be an electric matchup. Next, we have the six woman female takeover championship chamber, Ember Moon, Candice Lee Ray, B Priestley, our female takeover champion, Naomi, Lacey Evans, and Casey Cannonzaro all competing tonight. Next, the United Tag Team Championships are on the line. OVE, obviously, Dave and Jake Chris representing the team versus the Revival. Next, it's going to be for the Women's Wrestling Championship. Kara Hogan, Millie McKenzie, Charlotte Flair, Sue Young, our Women's Wrestling Champion. Then you have Carmella and Rosemary. Next, we'll have the matchup that everybody's been wanting to see. Taiji Ishimori versus Ron Van Dam for the Nation's Championship. Next, we're going to have the CJM Championship Chamber. Pete Dunn, Marty Stroh, Kushida, Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, and Kevin Owens. But next, we'll have, right before the main event, the Federation Tag Team Championships on the line. Team of Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins versus LIJ's Evil and Sonata. But our main event, it is going to be for the Pure Wrestling Championship. We have uh, Kazushka Okada, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, our Pure Wrestling Champion, Chris Jericho, Shingo Takagi, and Jay White. Let's go to the first match of the night for the USA Championship. We're in for a big night here. Oh man, here we go. It's gonna be Sami Zayn coming out tonight for a USA title shot. Well, Sami Zayn hasn't been seen in quite a long time and finally getting a title shot is Zayn. I mean, his, I guess you can say, uh, I don't know if they're buddy now, buddy buddy with each other, but Kevin Owens is getting a CJM title shot later on tonight. Of course, Cody defeating uh, Johnny Impact to win that USA title. Just shocking out of nowhere, the last pay-per-view at Night of Champions. Sami Zayn looks to be in tip-top competition. Uh, tip-top shape, I should say, ever since leaving, so I don't know. I think Sami Zayn has what it takes to be USA champion. Zayn is really ready for a fight, and I think Cody better watch out. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't faced Sami Zayn, or at least not for a long time. And here comes our champion. Here comes Cody. Cody coming out here with that USA title around his waist. We know exactly what's on his mind, and that is to retain that title. Cody, I mean, you see it on his shirt here tonight. I mean, you see it everywhere. Cody is really indeed the man that is on top of the mountain, he's sitting on the throne. Anyone that, well, anyone that was sitting on it, obviously Cody took him out of it. You see Cody in, obviously, uh, you know, heartbreaking that the Elite had a disband like that and Marty girl went to do his own thing in Villain Enterprises and Adam Page hasn't been seen in a little bit, in a little bit. I mean, it sucks, but all we know is that Cody has to be at a loss for that. He, he did recoup, recuperate from that by winning a Night of Champions, but who knows just exactly what Cody's mind is going through, what he's thinking, you never know. 
but all we know is right now is that it's time to defend the USA championship in front of this sold out crowd in Buffalo, New York for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Sami Zayn, I can't remember the last time he had a world title shot or even a minor title shot. I mean, he, he was out for a while there. I mean, Sami Zayn, who knows what exactly he was going through. Cody was out as well. Both these men were out in the past. I guess uh, I should say uh, during the mid-season of uh, the season. Mid-season of Universe Mode. And, well, it looks like these two are back. Cody's back better than ever having a his first ever title here in CJM. This man is going to pass it over to the referee. And we're just going to see just exactly how much fight do these two men have. We have to see here tonight. Here we go. Referee's going to ring the bell. And this contest is underway. As, oh my goodness. These two are already going to go at it. And Cody now already putting him down with a huge DDT. Huge DDT taking him out. I mean, that's going to be quite a move. Oh, big right hand by Sami Zayn. As, oh, drops the knee right on the back. My goodness, these hard hitting maneuvers, I'm telling you, they have got to be hurting each competitor. And uh, I'll tell you guys a fun fact, I, I'm doing my research here right now and it looks like uh, Cody, I believe uh, rightfully so, this man Cody is the only man to be in the past nation's champion and USA champion that is quite an accolade I mean nobody else as I'm looking through the charts right now has done that accolade that he has accomplished that is incredibly huge incredibly honored honoring for him well he has a accolade that nobody has man has been USA and nation's champion and, whoa, Sami Zayn looking to put him on the ropes there. Oh, no, hanging him up. Looks like Sami Zayn might use a Huluva kick. Oh, wait, no, he's going to run. No, kick out there. Now, Cody, look out. Irish whoop to the ropes. Ducks under, but look out. Close line there right to Sami Zayn. Oh, my, look at the leg of Zayn almost uh, Bending not uh, very well there. And oh, goodness, right to the eyes goes Cody. Kick to the back. And again for the eyes. And now he's going to pick up Sami Zayn. Look out now. And Zayn, he's going to get put right on the ropes. What's going to happen now? Look at this. Cody, wait a second. Disaster kick there by Cody. Disaster kick by Cody. Zayn is really... Uh, Rocked silly and Cody now. Uh oh, he's gonna go for the crossroads. Cody, big right hand, and now caught some Oh my goodness, crossroads by Cody. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended there. That's how it did a night of champions. Oh no, Sami Zayn kicks out. I mean, Zayn has to get back on the ball here in universe mode. He has to win a title. Look at this kick to the midsection. No, clothesline there by Sami Zayn. Zayn is going to pick him up. Zayn now. Oh, step up in Zaguri. Now Cody slowly making the climb. Run on the ropes there. And now close lining Cody right to the floor. And then Brandy Rose just looking on, obviously. Wife of Cody. And oh, he puts, okay, he puts him back inside the ring. Not sure why. Here we go. Look out now. Oh, Zane, oh, went for a double axe handle. Kind of awkward position to do that. Oh, flying one to the face in the corner. He's going to flip him over the cover. This could be it. No, not it at all. Cody now going to pick him up. Oh, Zane with the left jab right to the gut. And now belly to belly. No, oh, headbutt there by Cody. Right shot to the rib. Cody going to pick him up. 
I mean, Zane gonna pick him up, but Cody using the strength. Oh, major reversal there by Zane. Off the ropes, look out. Oh, there's a cross body drop there. Now Cody's probably gonna put him on the ropes with a disaster kick once again. Oh, no, he puts him in the corner, look out. What's going on here? Uh-oh, we haven't seen this move in a while. Oh my goodness. Kind of like a stunner from Cody. Cody now. Oh boy, wait a second. Zane better not turn around. We know what comes next. Zane. Oh, by not even getting a chance to hit a halluva kick or a blue thunder bomb. Zane is in for the worst. The cover, will this be it? And it, well, it's over, Cody dominating the matchup, defeating Sami Zayn. Wow, what a one-sided beatdown, Cody, yet again, proving why he is a dominant champion in CJM. Oh, that was undoubtedly a great performance. And ladies and gentlemen, next we'll have our first chamber match of the night, which will be for the female takeover championship as Cody celebrating his win against Sami Zayn right here tonight. And well, it's well deserved. Congratulations once again to Cody. This is gonna be one hell, hell of a match here tonight. I mean, this stipulation, if I'd already said it, <laughs> like in the beginning, like I'm restating. Oh, boy. Here comes out our champion, Naomi. And she looks like she's feeling the glow here tonight in Buffalo, New York. Naomi's feeling the crowd, feeling the energy, and tonight looks like she will fight five other women and she has to be very careful. Oh boy, here we go. Naomi obviously defending the female takeover championship first. Uh, first chamber match of the night. I don't know if there's any nerves for this. I mean, first chamber match of the night. She's defending the title. We have to see just exactly how everything will go as she hands over the championship to the referee and she's going to step in one of the pods right now. Oh boy, I wonder what number she's gonna get. That's gonna be quite intriguing. You got hell to pay, oh man. But you Looks like B Priestley's next to come out. Now B Priestley has uh, been impressing the universe as of late. She's been teaming with Casey Catanzaro to uh, get the spot here that she's been looking for. And well, tonight looks to be just exactly what she, the opportunity she's been waiting for, and that's to compete inside the Elimination Chamber. And she will now step into one of the pods. I mean, you know just exactly how B. Priestley can get. She can make friends, and well, she can destroy them as well. Here's a woman that really knows how to take out the competition. Here's Lacey Evans. Doesn't have the hat on tonight, but we know that she is going military style. She's going to deliver a beatdown like no other woman has delivered one here tonight. Obviously, the last two women that come out will be the first two women in the match. Let's just see exactly how Lacey Evans will do. And she'll also be in one of the pods. Lacey Evans, obviously, one of the women that are most feared in the CJM brand. And 
Whoa, here we go. Talking about Casey Cananzaro. Here she is. Casey Cananzaro coming out. Really looking forward to her performance at the Elimination Chamber. We know just exactly what she's capable of, and we know just exactly how uh, uh, agile, how uh, flexible, how you know much of an athlete Casey Cananzaro really is. Well, you know that for a fact. He's obviously looking around the arena, looking at the steel structure that hangs above where that's placed in the ring and man she has to be wondering how the hell am I gonna do this that's every that's on everybody's mind oh boy you gotta be kidding me Ember Moon is starting off the chamber Ember Moon going to start the chamber, and I think we know who she's going to start with. Ember Moon looks to be impressive. I mean, she defeated Isla Dawn in such a great fashion. It makes Lacey Evans, well... Lacey Evans, I forgot who her opponent was. Oh, I believe, no, it was Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane was her opponent. Almost forgot about Kyrie Sane. Oh my goodness. And Candice Lee Ray obviously defeating uh, another woman in the brand as well. As we are now awaiting the next competitor. To start off the match with Ember Moon, here she is. Here is Candice Lee Ray. Wow, so I guess we're gonna have two former women's wrestling champions to start off this female takeover championship elimination chamber. That is gonna be very huge. As these two women will give it their all. I mean, we've seen that time and time again. Ember Moon, best perform best matches with Nia Jax. Candice Lee Ray, best match with Paige at Bash of the Beach. And the match has began. Here we go, Hurricane Rana already. Already taken down. And Ember Moon. It looks like Ember ooh, with a right hand shot. And now throwing Candice Lee Ray in the corner. Hold on. Whoa. Candice Lee Ray. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought she was going to go for the move. Oh. Oh, wait. The cover. Hold on. No. Kick out there by Ember Moon. As uh, all these women are going to be awaiting their exit out of the pod. Looks like Candice Lee Ray is going to take it to Ember Moon in the meantime. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, hold on. Candice off the ropes. Oh my big boot to the face. And here, oh, here we go. We're going to have our third entrant in the match already. Who's it going to be? Let's see. Who is it? Who's going to enter the fray here tonight? Oh wait, it's B Priestley. That's going to enter the matchup right now. B Priestley, oh my goodness, cross body to Amber Moon and now going to take it to Candice. Well, Candice is taking it to B Priestley. Hold on, oh, shoves her off and almost went for the cross body again. And going for the legs. Man, B Priestley looking dominant. Look out, going for the hair, come on. B Priestley going for the hair of Candice Lee Ray. And uppercut there, Candice not having it, look out. As Hurricane Rana takes her down this time. As back kick right to Candace. But now Candace now. Uh-oh. 
Gonna suffer the consequences. Ember Moon gonna go. Wait, no. Gory Bomb, but DDT counter by Ember Moon. And we get another entry to the match. Who is it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, wait a second. It's our female takeover champion, Naomi. Naomi has entered the chamber match. And now, it, uh oh, wait a second. They're gonna fight on the outside. Oh, man. Ember Moon. I mean,. Uh, B. Priestley going for the leg of Candice Lee Ray. Obviously, that's not quite a position you want to be in. Uh, hold on. Already going for the cover. Naomi. But no, Ember kicks out. And look at this. Big boot right there. Choking out Candice. Looks like B. Priestley. Oh, wait. Cover. Hold on. Oh, gets thrown into the pod. Naomi, as she gets the consequences, get thrown down there. Another entrant yet again in the match as Naomi gets a DDT right on the outside. And we're going to get another entrant. I wonder, Casey Canzaro or Lacey Evans, who's it going to be? Oh, great monkey flip there by B. Priestley. And, oh, it's Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans, oh, she's not wasting any time to get in the match. As Ember Moon, hold on. Oh, my spine first straight to the pod goes Naomi. And now... Ember Moon gonna go cover her, but no, kick out at two. And Candice Lee Ray, is she gonna help Ember Moon take out Naomi or no? Nope. Looks like she might help Naomi. Alliances can quickly form, but they can quickly vanish. B. Priestley going against Lacey Evans. And now, those are back inside the ring. Man, what a effect there that it had on... Um, Naomi, but hold on, the last entrant in the chamber match, it is Casey Cananzaro. Here we go, and she's in. Casey Cananzaro has to pick up the scraps. I mean, a lot of women have been hurt. She's number six, lucky number six, can grant you many places. Oh, oh, Hurricane Ronda there from Casey Cananzaro. Ada kick from B Priestley is Naomi. As Candice and Lacey Evans do battle on the outside of the ring. Oh my, there's a single knee right to Lacey Evans. Really popping her up there. And many, many back and forth con contests here tonight. Oh my, stunner there by, by Candice Lee Ray. Look at this. Oh my goodness. B. Priestley surely felt the glow right there with those kicks. And now where is Naomi going? I have no idea. But Lacey Evans going to go follow her, but Candice LeRae, I think she's setting up for Lee Ray's wild ride. Oh no, B. Priestley felt this on CJM's go home show. Oh my goodness, down she goes. The cover, will this be it for B. Priestley? And it is, B. Priestley has been eliminated. B. Priestley is out of the match. And now, oh my, look out, Ember! Oh, oh! Looks like Candice Lee Ray ruined that one. She was about to hit her. Oh, rear view to Ember Moon! Rear view! The cover to Ember Moon! And Ember Moon is eliminated! Second elimination of the night. The first of many, I guarantee you that. But Ember Moon is walking out. Looks like, oh, Casey Catanzaro with the big right hand, I mean left hand to the back. Suplex to Lacey Evans. And there's a leg sweep there. Hold on. Big chop by Lacey Evans. Oh, but Candice Lee Ray returning the favor. Look out. Candice, no, reversal there by Lacey Evans. These two are going at it. Hold on. Whoa. Reverse that leg like it was nothing. Looks like she just catch, catches a drop kick to the back. Uh oh. Casey Cavanzaro going for a kick. Casey. Oh. Missile drop kick to the upper back there. Oh. Almost went for those kicks again as Naomi. Candice Lee Ray. Single knee right to the outside there. Single knee right to Naomi. The cover is in place. One. Two and a kick out. Hold on, no. Kick out from Lacey Evans as well. And oh, wait a second. Case Candice Lee Ray. Wait, what? 
Lacey Evans, oh my god, she got brass nuts. You gotta be kidding me. Brass nuts by, oh my, br brass nuts by Lacey Evans. There are no rules in the Elimination Chamber match. And Candice Lee Ray, we're going for the Gargano escape, but not working. What? Casey Cananzaro somehow kicks out. Somehow kicking out is Casey Cananzaro of the Brass Nuts. And uh oh, wait a second. Gonna go take her down. Locking the arms, making sure they're in place. Casey Cananzaro, there it is. There it is. One, two, and three. Lacey Evans is eliminated. Lacey Evans is out. Candice Lear with the counter. Candice Lear, Hurricane Rana. One of these three women will walk out with a female takeover championship. Will it be Naomi? Will it be Casey Cananzaro or Candice Lee Ray? I mean, the title. Oh my, big right hand has a big chance of retaining. Hold on. Right hand to the back. Candice Lee Ray looking dominant here tonight. Turning a great performance here for the CJM Universe. Fighting for position. Candice Lee Ray has finally got the grasp there and puts her down. And Candice hold on off the ropes. Whoa, look at that. Automatically going for a huge move. Going for the cover for the win. No, not even. Candice Lee Ray unexpectedly, uh, you know, getting. Oh, wait, what? Casey Cananzaro drops her down with a bulldog. And now, uh oh, whoa, using the hair, oh, uh, falling on top of Candice Lee Ray. And now Casey Cananzaro gets her leg, oh, swept there. And uh oh, wait a second. She shouldn't, oh, wait, what? Who does she want to hit? Who's she going to try to eliminate? Oh my good, she's going to try to eliminate Candice Lee Ray. And that's a small move, in my opinion. Oh no! The knees, the knees right to Naomi. The same knees that got her out of the submission hold. Or the same knees that got Nikki Cross out of the submission hold in Fashion the Beach. And hold on, whoa, whoa, look at this. This time hitting the unprettier right on top of Casey Cananzaro. But now, well, Naomi, look, oh, oh, what a big kick to the head. Now she's making sure that's knocked her unconscious. Did it knock her unconscious? Is it over for her? No. Kick out there by Candice Lee Ray. And Casey Cannon's all backing off there a little bit. And now, oh, wait, wait. Hurricane Rana. Perfect there by Diobi. And now picking up Casey. Cananzaro is in trouble. She's holding her there in position. Oh no, her back gave out there. Lower back has to be due to fatigue. And now throwing her right to the outside, throwing her out of the equation. I don't know if you want to do that with the championship on the line. Oh my goodness. There's that huge clothesline. And Casey Cananzaro going for the leg submission hold right to Candice Lee Ray. Will Candice Lee Ray tap out here tonight? Casey Cananzaro has a big chance. No. Big chance of her tapping out, but oh no, gets dropped by Candice Lee Ray and uh, Naomi. This is not a time to dance. Oh my God. Look out there. That's huge. And now here is with that huge moonsault from the ropes cover. Will it be over? No! Almost didn't kick out there is Naomi. There's Casey Cananzaro now taking it. And oh no, no. Candice throws her down. Oh boy, Gargano escape there by Candice Lee Ray. A man that couldn't qualify for the chamber match because he was beaten by Joe and it does the damage. Casey Cananzaro is eliminated from the chamber. It's down to Lee Ray and Naomi. Who will be walking out? Female takeover champion. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, face first right on the canvas. And now it has to be over. She's getting up slowly but surely. Big kick to the gut. 
And now into the submission hold. Candice Lee Ray is stuck here. Will she tap out? Or will she persevere? She taps. She taps. It's over. Naomi retains her female takeover championship. What a cha match that was. Holy cow. Hanging on to that female takeover title. Understandable, that was one hell of a contest. Naomi should be proud of that match. I mean, out of outlasting five of the women coming out entry number four. That's gotta be a big win in her book. What a celebration. The United Tag Team titles are on the line. And we know that OVE has been preparing for this moment. Dave and Jake Chris managed there by Madman Fulton. Looks like Madman Fulton is really making sure that these two are gonna get the job done. I mean, if they do, Sammy Callahan will be proud. Ohio versus everything. I mean, this stable has just been kind of dominant as of late. I mean, Jay Chris, Dave Chris have just been really helping Sammy Callahan through every single turn and twist. And, well, now that they have the big insurance policy in Madman Bolton, I believe that they can get this job done easily. We will see if that's the case. But it looks like OVE has been just kind of uh, lingering around. It looks like finally they're getting their moment to shine here in CJM, and this is huge for the, the championships for the Revival's United Tag Team titles. As now, here we go. We'll now wait for the Revival to come out. Say yeah. As they are one of the most popular teams here this brand as we see them the revival they are ready for tonight's showdown they are ready to take each and every team down the revival have been ready for quite a long time it looks like these two can't wait to get their hands on this next team. Here now is gonna be quite a journey to get the, these titles and it would suck that OVE would maybe, uh, you know, if they were to lose tonight, then I'm saying that would suck because it took them a long time to get to this point. We're just going to see if indeed the OVE were certainly ready. Were they ready for this title shot that, of course, Vince McMahon granted them? I don't think the Revival, you know, I don't think the Revival quite expected OVE to get a title shot. They were surprised, and now we see what's going to happen. The referee raises up both titles as we get prepared and ready for this match. Dave Chris will start the match with Dash Wilder. Here we go. 
Bell has rang. Oh my da oh my dash wilder already starting with a flying form and already stomping on the face of Dash Wilder. And Dash now look out. Float over neck breaker there. Dash Wilder really trying to take out his opponent. Oh no, gonna go for the leg automatically from Dave Christ. They want to prove that they are the top guys of CJM. But OVE wants to prove it as well. Hold on. Look out. Russian leg sweep there by though, taking down uh, Dave Christ. Jawbreaker. And oh my own oh, big boot. There that running kick from Dave Christ taking out Dash Wilder as now... He tags in Jake Crist. Look out. Uh oh. Oh my. Puts him down. Oh my. Slam there by uh, Dave Chris. And oh, double foot stomp by Jake Crist. As he signals that it's the end, but it's only the beginning, really. Look out. And a wrench the arm, breaking it there almost. And German suplex by Dash Wilder. As Dash Wilder really. Gonna try to take down Jake Chris. Look out. Where's he's oh wait, no, he's gonna pull him to the center, almost to his corner there. I think that's a smart move. As now a tag. No, nope, never mind. Thought he was gonna make a tag, but reversal there by Jake Chris. Jake Chris running for him right to the face. And now gonna turn him over, gonna go for the cover. Here we go. Cover one. No. Not even a one count there. Tag made right to Dave Christ. Now Dave Christ, oh my goodness, stomping on the face. And oh, come on, such disrespect there. Dave Christ doing that to Scott Dawson. Well, I'm saying, oh, sorry, to Dash Wilder. What am I saying? And now again wrenching the arm. Dash Wilder getting a back kick right to the midsection. He has to tag in Scott Dawson right away. Hold on, will this be a reversal? Oh no, wait a second. Oh, Dash Wilder with the reversal. Puts him in the corner. And clothesline there, clothesline from hell by that man, Dash Wilder. As, uh oh, oh my god, oh goodness, the, his leg shouldn't go that way, my god. Scott Dawson begging for a tag, and it looks like he will get one right. And now, what a tag has been made! Here we go! Wait! Shatter Machine this early! You gotta be kidding me! Shatter Machine! Shatter Machine! And now, one, two, three! The Revival retain the titles! You got, that was quick! That Shatter Machine taking out the competition like it always does! And the Revival are continuing their title reign! Well, the United Tag Team Champions are indeed the top guys in CJM. Who will be able to dethrone these men? I have no idea, but we can certainly find out very soon if they lose the titles. But I don't think the titles are going anywhere. It is time for the next chamber of the night. Oh... Oh, Here is the women's wrestling champion, Soo Young. Soo Young, the women's wrestling champion, coming out here tonight with a championship around her waist. She knows exactly what's at stake here. I mean, this is a very dangerous structure that she will be participating in. Very dangerous match. And I think she better, she best be careful here tonight. She looks like she might inje <laughs> just enjoy this match. I mean, I don't know. The way that Su Young is, we, we all know how she is. And these type of dangerous predicaments. For example, I mean, we haven't seen Tony Storm since Bash in the Beach. He has the title over to the referee, and he will be stepping into the pod. Always, uh, 
interesting to ask to see what number the champions drew in if they're in the pod. Uh oh. Here comes Charlotte Flair. Charlotte coming out in her best attire here, the robe here tonight. He's been looking quite impressive as Charlotte Flair, and I think tonight might be her night. Charlotte has never held a women's wrestling title, has never held a female takeover title. It might be her turn here tonight. But who knows exactly what's gonna happen. As Charlotte steps in and she sees everything that's going on here tonight. As people are loving Charlotte, we all know it. And we all know she's gonna step in the pod right here tonight. As, uh oh, here we go. Here comes Carmella. Carmella saying that she is fabulous, and tonight she knows exactly how to take care of this match. Well, she better. I mean, Carmella is in a big predicament here. She hasn't had a title shot in quite a long time, and tonight she can look to either get defeated or can step in with confidence and actually win the match. As she's taunting up to the ropes there, as she more usually does. Now she's gonna step into the pod. It'll be interesting to see which one of these women will start the matchup. Here is the Demon Assassin. Here is Rosemary. Rosemary is coming out. Too Young better be afraid because Rosemary has faced her before. Rosemary has beaten her before. Their score or their record together is one to one. So tonight, she might have another shot at going at it with her. Rosemary always with the ominous entrance, always with this attire. Looking around the arena here with the steel covering everything. Telling you, she might not be prepared for all this, but she might be. Who knows? As the next two that will be coming out will be starting off the chamber match. Pretty sure at this point we know all the participants. So here is one of the women that will start off the chamber match. It is Kara Hogan. Kara Hogan will start off the matchup. Not a good number to be in, but Kara Hogan has to do her best to get the job done. She has to make the best out of her number, save her energy, try the best that she can, and obviously go for that win. We shall see just exactly tonight if she gets it done. We know there's many other top women in the chamber. Kara Hogan qualified for this matchup. But oh man, she's starting off the matchup with Millie McKenzie. The woman that stood tall the go home show. Millie McKenzie out here tonight to make another statement. Marching down to the ring with a purpose. That's what I'm talking about. Millie McKenzie, the youngest in this Elimination Chamber match, but she might be 
the boldest in the match. I'm telling you, she has a lot of potential, and I think Millie McKenzie will one day become women's wrestling champion or any woman's title that will be around her waist. Hell, it might be tonight, or it might be another night. Who knows exactly what's going to happen. Can't predict the future because it's unpredictable. But here we go, starting off the match. These two women right here, right now. Look at this. Oh, back suplex right to Kiara Hogan. And now, oh my, oh, big kick right to the face. Already going. Don't tell me. Oh, my kick out there. Kick out there by Kara Hogan. Picks her up, but no. Millie McKenzie counters. And now, tossing her to the corner. Oh, my, double knees. And now finally, oh my God, biting the fingers of Kara Hogan. Another woman will finally come out here tonight. And oh man, Rosemary is the next entrant in the match. Nobody can go for the cover, but no. Rosemary coming out early here at number three. Oh, oh missile drop kick there by Millie McKenzie knocking her down. Rosemary, big kick to the gut. That jumping clothesline it looked like. But here we go. Oh my goodness, going for the arm, going for the leg, tossing her over. Injuring the back there. And now, Kara Hogan going for Rosemary. And doing her best. Look out, oh! Melinda McKenzie almost went for that kick yet again. Kara Hogan tosses out Rosemary, and now, Meteora there. Very smart. A similar move to the woman that has returned to pure wrestling, which is Sasha Banks. But right now, we're talking about the Elimination Chamber, and we have a next entrant in... Oh, boy! In Charlotte Flair! Here we go! Charlotte Flair, the next entrant in the matchup. Millie McKenzie taking things up top, but no, Rosemary counters. And Wolf head scissors there. Here, Hogan. Hold on. Is now going for the neck breaker. And now Rosemary. Oh my god. Oh goodness. Power bombs. Millie McKenzie onto the outside floor there. And now Rosemary. Oh my goodness. Throwing her down yet again. Her back onto that hard floor. And a swing blade on the outside. And now, next entrant coming out. Oh, Rosemary, what the hell is she? Don't tell me. Oh, oh she missed. And, oh, and it's Carmella. You know what that means. The champ has the lucky number six number in the Elimination Chamber match. Well, everybody's at a disadvantage. Oh, my goodness. Carmella going at it right away. Wait, Rosemary. Rosemary picks up Millie McKenzie. And... On the floor yet again, my God. That's it, that's it. What? Millie McKenzie kicks out. Millie McKenzie with the kick out, and now, no, no, gonna pick her up. Oh my, throws her right into the wall there. Throws Carol then back inside the ring. And now Sue Young is the last woman to come out here tonight. Will she show an impressive showing? Oh boy, here we go. The champ is ready. And now she's going right to Millie McKenzie. No, nope. she, where is she going to? Looks like she wanted to go to Millie McKenzie. And it looks like she is right now. Oh, form shot, ain't that. Big right hand, another one. And Charlotte throwing Carmella's face. Oh my goodness. Right onto the turnbuckle, padding the cover. Hook and leg, Millie McKenzie barely escapes that. Charlotte throwing Carmella to the outside. Rosemary countering Kara Hogan. Rosemary throws her right into the wall. And now, 
top, turns her around. Oh my, Olympic slam. Neil McKenzie. Oh my, oh my goodness, throws Su Young with force of spear by Charlotte Flair. Carmella is in deep trouble. Oh, and so is Kara Hogan. Oh my God. What a maneuver. The cover rep is going to count it. Will be all she wrote, and Kira Hogan is eliminated. Well, oh, wait a second. Can we have a second elimination? No. Carmella kicking out. Oh, my. Millie McKenzie using those German suplexes, and Carmella using that big move. And now, oh, God, suplex run on the floor. Wait, code of silence. Code of silence by Carmella. Is Charlotte going to tap? Is Charlotte going to tap? And oh my, Rosemary really doing, oh, Millie McKenzie, oh my god, climbing the chamber wall, throwing herself onto Rosemary, my god. That was quite a huge impact there. My goodness. And now, oh boy, here we go. What's going on here tonight? As there's just chaos going everywhere. Sue Young is down, but she's not out. Going for the leg of Charlotte, and that's very smart to try to take her out as much as possible. We know how Charlotte is. Oh goodness, this will drop kick. And Charlotte, wait a second, Carmella. Oh my, right onto the chamber wall. As Rosemary using her feet, it's not illegal in the matchup. It's a no disqualification, of course. Rosemary gets tossed to the corner, but a DDT to Carmella onto the floor. Charlotte's gonna take advantage, goes for the cover, and it's over. Carmella is eliminated. Big kick there to Rosemary by Millie McKenzie. Now, Oh boy, going for the figure eight, no. And now, oh my, oh, Millie McKenzie driving her down with a German suplex. Huge impact delivered to the neck of Rosemary. Spear by Charlotte Flair. And oh my, a kick out by Rosemary. Cover to Sue Young, a kick out before the two. German suplex. And a, oh my, natural selection from Charlotte. Natural selection, got her! We saw that before on Pure Wrestling. Oh my, what is this? One, two, three! Rosemary is eliminated, referee counting. Now for Charlotte, it's over. No, my God, so close. So very close. And what? Canadian Destroyer! Just like we saw in Pure Wrestling to Charlotte. In the exact same position. Oh, so close. She would have eliminated Charlotte Flair. Sue Young picking up the scraps to try again, but no, Charlotte kicks out. Somehow powers out again out of that maneuver. Going for the leg of Charlotte. Don't know how wise that is. Sue Young. Oh my, what is this? Oh, big right hand, big jab there. Look out. Oh my goodness. Now, natural selection. This time to Millie McKenzie. Will this finish her off? Is it over, Millie McKenzie? Oh my goodness, she kicks out. And hung up on the ropes there is Charlotte. Clothesline there to Sue Young. Millie McKenzie's crawling. Oh, there's the big kick, but no! She took out the ref! She took out the ref over the big kick! No! She could have gotten her right there! Millie McKenzie, oh, there's a stun gun! That's not good. She should she should have not taken out the ref there. That's bad news. Oh, mandible claw! Mandible claw to Millie McKenzie! But she gets out of it. She gets out of the mandible claw. And now, go for the knee of Su Young, twisting the leg. And now back at it with Charlotte Flair. Oh no, Charlotte taking her down. 
And Charlotte, oh boy. We've seen this time and time again. Will this be the end? Oh no, she wasn't gonna go for the figure four and then go for the figure eight. Oh, so Young ran into that spear by Charlotte Flair. Now she's gonna cover her. Will it be over? Two and a kick out by Sue Young. Kick out by Sue Young and Millie McKenzie still crawling. There's the hit right to the back. Uh oh, Charlotte. Oh my God! No, oh no! She the referee got in the way. The referee just got speared by Millie McKenzie. Oh my God! That my goodness, that was just absolutely insane. Millie McKenzie spearing the referee. Couldn't get it. Look out, double foot stop there. Double foot stop by Millie McKenzie. Big punch right to Millie McKenzie. One, two, and oh my God, so close. That almost eliminated her. And Sue Young, oh, oh, wait a second. Shouldn't be sitting like that because now Charlotte Flair, what? She slapped Charlotte Flair. She, sh she shouldn't have slapped Charlotte Flair, but she's still going to take out Millie McKenzie. No, nope. Millie McKenzie with the reversal. Oh, my God. Canadian Destroyer. Holy cow. Don't tell me. One, two, three. Oh, Charlotte Flair is eliminated. Big punch by Sue Young. Sue Young stomping one hell of a mud hole right to Millie McKenzie. And now, oh no, this isn't good. It's using the leverage there to take her down. And Su Young gonna go for a single leg Boston Crab to eliminate Millie McKenzie. Well, you gotta win by any means necessary, and it's over. Su Young using a single leg Boston Crab to make Millie McKenzie tap out. Well, her knee gave out. It was too badly injured during the match and she couldn't get up from there. Millie McKenzie, sadly not winning the match. Not winning the match, but winning these fans hard here tonight. The tremendous amount of courage that she just took here in tonight's match. It's just amazing, and I think Sue Young deserves a round of applause.